Hello everyone and welcome along to uh, another video where I depart from my usual system of summarising C2 studies from OCR A-level psychology and instead make a short summary video uh, summarising the processes of the inferential stats test that you have to know for C1. Uh, there's five in total, the sign test, Wilcoxon, Spearman, Man, Whitney, you and Kai squared. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to go in that order necessarily, but each of these uh, following pages has got a summary of the process and, if relevant, an equation. Only three of them have got equations. Uh, the best advice I can give to revising these stats tests is to practice the process as much as you revise the equation, because an equation is just a process written down anyway. If you know the process, you don't really need the equation. Uh, odds are it'll be given to you in the exam anyway. So strap in. We're going to try and do uh, five stats test summaries in 60 seconds, which might be about 10 seconds per stats test. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. We're going to start off with the sign test, really easy. Just subtract the scores from group B from the scores from group A. You can do it the other way around if you want. It doesn't really matter. Count up the number of negative differences and positive differences. And S is the smaller number of the two if we ignore the zeros. There's an example at the bottom of the page for you. Wilcoxon. Similar to sign test, you subtract the scores. This time you rank the differences, lowest to highest. Lowest gets a one, highest gets whatever. Uh, you ignore the sign. Once you've done that, you count up the number of negative differences and positive differences. And T, the final result, is the total of the ranks linked to the less frequent sign. And again, I'll put an example at the bottom there. Man Whitney U, this is the first one with an equation. The good news is, although you do the equation twice, it's the same equation for both groups. I'll pop that at the top. For this one, you rank all the scores. So if 26 people take part, 13 people in each group, you rank the scores 1 to 26. You add up the ranks of the first group, sub it into the equation for R, solve that, and that gives you a U value for group 1. Repeat that process for group 2, and your final U result is the smaller of the two calculated values. N in that equation is the number of people in that group. It's independent measures for this study, so watch out because the number of people in each group might be different for each group. Next up is Spearman, another complicated equation, although hopefully a simple result. First of all, rank each condition scores, so not all together for this one, separately. If you've got 10 participants, uh, five in each group, then uh, rank them separately. Then subtract rank A or from rank B, doesn't matter which way around you do it, to get the difference square that difference, add up the squares, which gives us the sum of d squared, and sub that into the equation. The best advice I can give for you for this one, two things. One, don't forget the one minus, and two, take everything step by step. Don't let bid mass catch you out. Uh, last but not least, uh, the chi-squared equation. First of all, you've got to work out the expected frequencies for each cell. That might be four cells, that might be six cells. We do that row total times column total divided by total total. Then for each cell, work out the difference between the expected and the observed, square it, divide that number by the original expected that you worked out in part one, and then when you're done, add up all of those numbers, and that gives you your final value of chi-squared. That was uh, 3 minutes 19 for six five stats tests. Not too bad. Hopefully this helps. If you'd like me to do some more C1 content, let me know. Um, ask any questions or any problems you have in the comments as well. Thanks for watching. Cheers.